Hello guys, this is part 2 of my tutorial series about making Redis in UEFN. Today, I'll show you how to make these small, atmospheric and beautiful environments. I will talk about what makes an environment look good and about some different tips and techniques. So let's begin by what makes render look good. A lot of details can make render look good, but you have to find this perfect balance between an empty and an overcomplicated scene. You have to follow the general composition rules as well to have a good looking render with a lot of details. This is not a composition tutorial, but you can find some tutorials on the internet. So for example here in this Chinese scene, I had a lot of foliage like these colorful big bushes, these small bushes and some bamboo growing on the sides. You can also add some small stones on the ground and some grass blades in the foreground to have them blurred in the frame like on this render. For example, in this small scene I added a preserve volume to add some color correction. That technique can change the whole atmosphere of the scene. I recommend you to use it. Here's how to add it. Click on this icon and here in the visual effects tab select post process volume. You can configure lens flares, chromatic aberration and a lot of other effects. Another helpful thing for renders is fog. To add fog, you need to go here in the visual effects tab and select exponential height fog. I've already added one to try and it has a lot of settings. You can configure density, sky atmosphere, colors of all this stuff and much much more. Now let's get back to the environment building topic. In this video, I'll build another small environment and comment on the process when needed. So let's begin by coming up with the general idea. I want something in a Chinese style with some pink foliage and a building. So I started getting that. I searched up China Prefab to get the house and Color Picker to get the foliage. Looking for something specific can be hard sometimes, so here are a few tips that can help you with it. Number 1. Writing Prefab will show you already built structures like different houses, shops, etc. Number 2. Writing Gallery will show you the pack of assets of this type, for example the Color Picker Gallery. If you write only color picker, you'll see all models separately and the gallery. In this case, there are not many of them, but sometimes writing gallery can help you to find it. Number 3. Pressing Q, W, E and R will switch the action mode you're doing. Q is just selection, W is movement, E is rotation and R is scale. Learning hotkeys is very important in any software. These tips are quite obvious, especially if you have experience in Creative 1.0. But many beginners don't know about it, so I decided to share it. Now let's continue working on our small Chinese scene. I've added the house and some trees and bushes around it. To add some details, you can use landscape painting tools. To paint paths, you need to activate landscape mode and here select painting. Here you can select the material you want and paint. To erase something, you simply need to hold shift and paint. After you've painted your landscape, you can begin decorating your scene. And here's a little time lapse of me doing that. The only limitation here is your creativity. And as we all know, creativity is endless. That's all for today, feel free to share your creations on my discord and ask for help. You can also chat with other designers and help other people there. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.